Hello everyone, how's it going? It is me Jack here and welcome to episode number 15 of the Football Manager 2020 save here with Charlton Athletic. Today's episode we'll see us play the final game of the season away at Sinsel Bank and then we will round out the season just by having a look at the email section of a season review from this season as you can see before we take a look at the fixtures we were subsequently promoted and declared champions in the last game fantastic achievement by the club to get well to win the league the first time of asking from coming down would i say it's fairly fortunate i suppose so if we take a look we've had a look at this in the past episodes already the inconsistent form of ipswich town and the dominant display of football that was displayed by our team in the second half of the season showed maybe why we did deserve to win it. However, the points gap between ourselves and what is now Luton Town is absolutely fantastic and shows the winning mentality of this squad. We take a look at the previous fixtures. The last game you saw what was an unbelievable finale in the leasing.com trophy at, uh, at Wembley. We won that game obviously by two goals to one and since then it was a very uh, dominant display of football from us. The only draw, the only game we actually dropped points was at home against Crew Alexandra. Now I believe that they have yeah, been relegated. However, we were unable to actually win the game and it was very difficult to break Tony Pennock's team down. We were losing 2-0 just after uh, half time and then it was two late goals after a change in tactics by Stevie Mallon. And Jordan Hugo that saw us equalise and get a point out of that game. I believe we were promoted in this game, however, against Rochdale away from home. The goals by Saar, Whittock and Brewster meant we comfortably won that by three goals to nil. And then a dominant display won us the league title and we lifted the trophy in front of our fans. A hat-trick again by the informed Ryan Brewster and then a goal as well from Jordan Hugo that saw us win this game. With four goals and Fred Onyedimma scored when it was 2 0 to us, so they brought themselves back into the game, but we were able to control and win it dominantly. Perth Nalbion was another game we were able to comfortably win just after the final midweek, two goals, and then we won that. I think that might be the reason why, because you know, we had midweeks and then you know, the Saturday game against the inferior opposition we struggled, but this one we won by two goals now. Brewster and Adama Traore, but this man. Has just been on absolute fire. I am so happy we've been able to keep him for another season at the club because five star current ability, he's actually operating at a Premier League current level. Absolutely fantastic. 30 goals he's got this season. Sees him comfortably ahead in the race for the Golden Boot. Clean sheets as well. Phillips is one away from uh, Thomas Hawley. So even though we've conceded many, you know, we've conceded a lot, we're still quite high up in terms of clean sheets and even assists as well. Stevie Mallon has got himself a plethora of assists this season. Wanted man as well, you can see, but he's had a really good season in League One as well. So we're very happy with that. But I think without further ado, we just need to move on straight to this game. I don't really want to show you any of the transfer business. I suppose there is one thing. Spoke at the end of last at the start of the season that I was looking maybe for future seasons to cash out on this uh, Joe Gomez contract extend this clause that we've got. He unfortunately is out for the next seven months. This is why I think the clause has come up and we can cash out for eight million now. It was about nine million, so it's subsequently dropped. But I'll continue waiting. But if it goes above ten million, then I might have to have a look at that. Um, club vision. I was talking about. Our chairman potentially leaving the club. He's quashed any talks of a takeover, so he's staying on at the moment. And financially as well, we were only down to 35% of revenue. We've lost a little bit. Um, we have actually had the board's finances changed as well, so you can see we have got a bit of money to spend, but we're just going to hold out for the moment. Um, we're doing a lot of scouting off camera just to try and find some decent players. So we'll move on then to this fixture. This is the team that we're going to go out for one last time. Purring for some reasons in the team. We'll put Whittock back in there. But I'd say this is probably the strongest team 
from this season if I was to to put it put it together. It'd be Phillips in goal. Barbieri I think has been stronger over the course of the season than Madden Matthews. Matthews is out for one to four days, so he will not be playing for this final game. Uh, Garcia Magnani, great partnership in the defence with Wittek completing it. I think that back five has just been terrific for us. Tapia in the holding role with a great partnership of Mallon and Herbie Kane. Johnny Williams hasn't been unbelievably good this season, I don't feel, but hasn't been dreadful. Still got a canny few assists to his name and uh, will definitely be with us for next season as well. And uh, Rian Brewster and Hugh Gill. Rian Brewster, of course, has been a god, but trying to get a partner with him has been difficult. Hugh Gill's only got himself around 12 goals this season, 9 just in the league. Bodazoli, I suppose, hasn't really done very well either, but when you've got a goal scorer like Rian Brewster in your team, it's going to always be difficult to find another man to try and score as many goals as him. But I'd have liked like maybe 15 and or 20 from this other striker, but for next season, we're definitely going to have to look at that position as a as a potential target because Hugo I'm not too sure about him his contract actually expires so we've got a decision to make on whether we want to keep him here at the club or not Bonazzoli's leaving and we're just left then with Macaulay Bomb and Dominic Samuel I think Samuel will definitely be staying on as a backup because he's come in this season and done okay but Macaulay Bomb might stay around but he's not featured at all in the league this season so we'll just have to see about him um on the bench ben amos lockyer sar kaski or kaski rather traore samuel and bonazoli will be on there ostuma has just actually come back he's lacking in match sharpness but we'll get rid of bonazoli um and we'll put ostuma on the bench he might be able to come on for like five minutes or so we'll have to see of course but um we'll get into this match right away and see what we can do as long as we keep the unbeaten run because we haven't lost in such a long time i don't really matter it doesn't really mind uh, how well this game goes i've still got the director camera on as well rather than 2d because i was watching my team win the uh, lift the trophy it's a shame you didn't see that i do apologize but uh, i think it was guaranteed we were going to get promotion whether we'd win the league or not i suppose yeah due to just the immense form and run that we were on but uh, it has always been the aim this season to make sure we were promoted. And I think we've done that rather comfortably. I'm just going to tell the players, come on, lads, let's do it one more time. Let's get this run, keep this run going so we can move on into next season in a very positive light and try and keep on this unbeaten run. We'll put it back onto 2D Classic as the game begins now. Barbieri finds Brewster. He's going to hold on to the ball nicely, but loses it to Max Meldon, I believe that is. He's Grant. Bolton. Running forward now with the ball. What can Bolton do with it? He whips it in. Finds Grant. It's a good block from the defender. Grant beats two men there. Whips it into the box. Cleared away. On his far as pain. Kelman gets a knock onto it. And Lincoln City leads here in the final game of the season. A bit disappointed at the back there. We were just unable really to clear the ball. Good run there by Grant. Headed away by Wittick, but two simple headers. And Lincoln City lead here. It's been a very slow start by us. I'm just going to tell us to concentrate because we're clearly not doing so in the opening few minutes. This could be a, a test for Hugel as well coming into this last game. Do you want a, maybe a contract the next season? One of the things that I do want to do this season, though, is try not to raise the wage budget. I think Tapia is the player on the most amount of money at the moment. He's on around, like, 19k. I've actually handed him a contract, I forgot to say. I don't know whether I showed you. He's, he's signing up to 2024 now. But uh, he's he's staying on, on, a, on that amount of money, and I don't want to really go any higher than that any higher than about 20k so it's important for us to do business and do it very diligently in the market as we have a highlight now Wittig with the ball in it hits the crossbar I believe I can't read the text at the bottom to state who it was but at half time it's not been a great performance it appears a lot of old players might be on the holiday mentality that uh, a lot of them do like to go on when the season is wrapped up but um yeah we need to try and change change the fortunes in the second half as that has not gone to plan 
whatsoever for us. We started a lot brighter though. Highlight continues. Garcia finds the head. Finds the header. Vicar saves it and dispatches that ball very quickly. The highlight will seem to be continuing here. As Phillips is on the ball. Whittock. Whittock finds Herbie Kane. Who finds it back to Witter? Great long ball to Hugo. Can he find a man in the area? Finds Herbie Kane on the edge of it. Who is going to run inside. Tapia to Witter. Back to Kane. To Jordan Hugo. Beats his man. It's a great stop from the goalkeeper. Brewster picks it up. But it's intercepted and will go out. For a Lincoln City goal kick. That was a uh, good opportunity though. We're doing a lot better with the ball. Johnny Williams has been very quiet today. He's not getting involved in the play. That's all. Um, I think I have to tell them to get a bit, a bit more expressive. Really do heighten this line of engagement. Uh, just we'll keep it like that for now. Maybe Williams is getting a bit more involved now. 6.6. .6. See what we can do. Can we get the ball off Lincoln City here and start a counter attack? We can. Barbieri, great defender he really is. And here's Brewster now. Brewster's through. Oh, it hits the post. Rayan Brewster. I'd back you to score in that situation. It doesn't look like he's going to on that occasion. Can we find a goal now though? Malin finds the header of Magnani. And the tall brute of a centre-back gets our team level in this game from a set piece. Now the game can really turn around on its head. Solid header. Look how big he looks in comparison to everybody else there. And that is his fourth goal of the season. For, for Charlton Phillips at a 6.4 I don't know why that is I'm going to bring on Forster Kasky I think at the box to box roll see what he can do I don't want to take off Jordan Hugo but Williams I might have to look for the final 10 minutes to bring on Ostuma who I think deserves what will probably be his final 10 minutes in the Charlton shirt to be honest with you I think it's a position I'm going to have to look to improve next season as central attacking midfield because he's just not uh, I don't think he's ready for League One. As oh, the ball goes in and nobody able to get their feet on it. As we're coming in now to the final ten minutes, tell you what, let's take off. Uh, I'm not going to take off a strike. Let's bring on Ostuma, and I'm just going to see it out with uh, the two up top. I'm going to pause it. I'm going to actually click the show some passion. Let's have a last ten minutes of passion, shall we? Can we find a goal? Coming down now to the 90th minute. Will there be a highlight or will the season end in a draw? It is going to end. Lincoln City 1, Charlton Athletic 1. I'm going to say that's disappointing. We weren't good enough today, lads. However, we were able to continue the unbeaten run that we were on. That stretched all the way. I think it was, was it the end of January was our last defeat in the league. I'm not too sure. But it has been a dominant display. Yes, it was. It was League One Doncaster. It's been a dominant three months of football for us. Just two, sorry, three draws in the league. The rest of them victories. Absolutely fantastic from Charlton. And we win the league by seven points to Ipswich Town, who only just scored in the 93rd minute to actually get a point in that game. Luton Town, what did they do? They won at home. So they're through into the... Playoffs, Doncaster Rovers, Hull City, who finished down with us, in uh, they were 24th last season. And Fleetwood Town able to uh, snatch the final playoff position. I suppose they deserved it, um, uh, so they could do something. I think Doncaster Rovers are a difficult team, so that's a difficult playoff group, that. I'm trying to think, uh, I can't remember who, who came down with us last season. I, don't know, I remember it was... Uh, Hull City, oh losing town sorry yeah of course so third, second, third and fifth for the three teams going down sorry first, third and fifth Ipswich go up in the season preview it was actually Charlton and Hull City backed for the top two positions I suppose we were guaranteed to go up weren't we with the team that we had but uh, Ipswich only guaranteed to finish fourth Luton and Sunderland in the playoffs have correctly predicted but uh, yeah, that is going to be that for the season. It's been a great season for us. What I'll do is I'll advance up until we get the emails surrounding the end of the season. I don't think I did that uh, for last season, but we'll do it for this season. We'll have a look at uh, who our best performers were, and then we will move ahead onto season number three.
Right then, here we are. We have reached the end of the season. Let's take a little look then at the uh, emails regarding this. Just done a mass bit of scouting there. So Kyle Riley delighted with Charlton season there. Um, this is the overall best 11 squad from the first season and including this one. A lot of it is predominantly this season's players. We've only got Lyle Taylor, the uh, striker that we had last season. What a baller. He was, but you can see he didn't have the best start, really, in the MLS. 13 games, 5 goals this season, however. He started off on the right foot. It just It's a shame we lost him because of the database we were using. We obviously lost Lyle Taylor. It was a shame we did because to score 22 goals in a side that were relegated, who only knows what he could have got. But then again, if we didn't get him, we might not have got Ryan Brewster on loan, so... There's two sides to every story, but him and him, to them two, uh, line up alongside each other. Trail rate and Malin with Tapia, no Herbie Kane, surprising maybe. Ostuma as well, rather than Johnny Williams. Hmm. Let's have a look at the end of the season awards. So fans player of the season, obviously, goes to Ryan Brewster. What a season he has had as our top goal scorer. Uh, Hugh Gill alongside. Opting for him rather than uh, Bonazzoli. I suppose so. Maybe Hugo had a little bit of form coming into the season. But scored less goals in the league than Bonazzoli. Ostuma again. Up to, to be fair, he had a really good season. He played... Actually, how many games did Williams actually play um, for us? 28 games for Ostuma. 40 games for Johnny Williams. I'm surprised Johnny Williams isn't getting the nod here. But... Oz Tuma did have a very good season. I can't really argue with it. Traore and Malin with Tapia. It's practically a very similar team. Matthews doesn't get in though. Barbieri uh, in the other team. Barbieri didn't get in it. But then again, Matthews is a very experienced man. So it will only be time, I think. Only be a matter of time before Barbieri gets in there. Great partnership. Great defence, that is. Really, really solid. Um, Wittek second. I can't have any complaints with that. Whittock once again having a really good season for us. Matching his assist tally from last season. Played the full season as well for us. What a player. And Stevie Mallon, a very good season. His second, his, his first full season. Absolutely dominating in that deep lion role for us. Very, very impressed with his performances. He actually got goal of the season against Fleetwood Town at home. Um, would, no, this wouldn't have been on camera, I don't think. Didn't we lose 3-0 to these away from home? But then I played. I was going to show you this game on camera, I think. But this is the goal that won him. Goal of the season at our rewards ceremony. Ryan Brewster attacking with the ball. And then it is a simple pass to Mallon. He takes a touch. Runs inside and strikes it. Huge goal that was. That was in the 60th minute. That was our only goal of the game, wasn't it? When we played Fleetwood Town. Yeah, it was. Um, and then obviously earlier on in the season we got hammered by them when they were definitely in form. Uh, signing of the season goes to Gian Giacomo Magnani. A few uh, people for this but a permanent signing. Fantastic player. Really looking forward to seeing what he can do in the championship. He has got that good player for most championship, championship side tag. Um, I think he'd be a great centre back for us next season. And young player of the season goes to the 21 year old. Ryan Brewster, a memorable season in both competitions. Winner of the leasing.com, winner of the League One. We unfortunately lost in the second round of, against Brighton, which is understandable. We lost in the second round of Coventry, but then again, it was just paramount that we got promoted this season. Only 39% of our stadium was full, which is a bit alarming that we weren't able to really sell out, but we might be able to next season. We'll have to have a look at that. Uh, joins 18th highest in League One for most players used. And that number being 24, game of the season. I totally agree. That 6-1 was unbelievable. Moment to forget, however, was definitely that 4-1 home defeat at home against Rochdale. So, this is going to be the club vision. A little sneak peek now into next season. We've got to avoid relegation. That's what they're saying. These are to be expected to be negotiated later, but they're not attempt to avoid relegation. We've got to avoid relegation. Then become an established championship side. Build on that by just continuously recording top half finishes. I will confirm that as we move on to the squad dynamics update. We've got some team leaders. Excellent. 
I was having a look at this earlier on in the season and I couldn't find us with any team leaders whatsoever. But it's nice to see that we've got some now. Jason Pearce, who'll be leaving the club, was club captain. He isn't as uh, influential as he once really was now. But it's nice to see Tapia and Witter getting in there. Two very, very big players for us. So it's nice to see that they are our, are our top influencers. Uh, let's have a look. Injury report. We had a couple of injuries throughout the season. Many players getting at least one injury to their name. Uh, end of season break has begun. Where we're going to go for our training camp? It's either London or in uh, London or Scotland. That's uh, exciting for the players. Do we go up north for a little bit? Up to Scotland? Bit uh, bit chilly for the lads. Yeah, why not? End of season team meeting. What do we say to the players here? Um. This is always difficult. I'm not saying any of the top two. Because we're not getting mid-tier. But we've got to just survive. Uh, absolute delight with promotion this season. You've all returned. All right. So, of all you getting involved. Uh, oh, fantastic. I believe we can keep this lot. Yeah. That's good to see. Everyone knows. I'm going to keep a lot of them here. Because I do want to get this lot promoted. Into. Uh, well. Get them into the championship and keep them in the championship. With that then guys, I just want to thank you so much for your continued support throughout this season and the whole save as a whole. It has been very, very much appreciated. If you've enjoyed this particular video, please do hit the like button. Comment any suggestions regarding transfer business definitely in the comment section as we progress to the 21-22 season. And subscribe to the channel if you've not subscribed already to keep yourself up to date with the save. Thank you for watching. and I'll see you for season three very, very soon. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.